Anyway, patrol? Oh, oh. No, 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 the event, the event. Yep, so we could actually just attack, uh, attack some random enemies as well. I think I'll avoid that, but let's do the event. That was exhilarating, Captain. But I also feel a bit sick. It will pass. When I was a child, I dreamed of becoming an arbiter like my mother. I also dreamed of fighting alongside her, but never that I would be wearing her armor. The armor you inherited, but the position you earned. Watch this one for me, would you? Yes, Captain. Straight up barbed wire there. I didn't notice that earlier. Yeah, I was about to mention it. Maybe if you push enemies into it, it damages Probably them. Probably does. Why would someone with your wealth and privilege stoop to murder? If that man had wronged you, I'm sure the court would have been happy to hear your case. <laughs> the court's a matter of dispensing justice is too costly or slow for my taste. Ah. <sighs> I don't understand. Yeah, sorry about that. I had to put a race, wrist brace on. <sighs> that shocks me to my core. But what did he do to you? Let's just say he strayed from the rut which fate had gouged out for him. I still don't. Just like a pair of little girls I know, he interfered with the business of his betters, and quite soon afterwards paid the price for it. <laughs> Perhaps one day you'll explain to me how such a powerful lord came to be the prisoner of a pair of little girls. <laughs> to a luster! Why didn't you just delegate the paperwork to Anadine? That's what captains in training are for. Anadine needs a break. The journey here has been much harsher than what I would typically expect of a trainee. And this particular package, I wish to deliver personally. Ha! Huh. I half guessed that was the reason. Greetings, Arbiters. How may I be of assistance? Hey there, Guardsmen. We're dropping this prisoner off for trial. On several charges, but primarily murder. Murder is a shame not often this kind gets brought in alive. You heard the captain. This one's in for murder. Take him to lower level and make sure he makes it safely to our darkest, dankest cell. I promise you'll regret this entire charade, wench, and sooner than you think. Get moving, you! He is surprisingly confident, I must say. His arrogance is breathtaking, true, but no longer any concern of ours. Oh, they actually changed your emotion. Yeah, they do change their That's cool. I like their facial that. expressions every once in a while. At least for the main characters, obviously. Well, even the noble had one. Yeah, you're right. He did. I like that. Like, I was complaining about this when I was playing Diablo mm -hmm. and Torchlight in a couple I other games. See the you just have portraits. this tiny little square portrait yeah. that shows like their face. Like, honestly, personally, I wish they went full visual novel and you had the char two characters talking to each other in this. Like, Pyre has ruined me for this kind of dialogue, but I appreciate what they're doing for this one. Mm -hmm. I just, like, I, I'd i never even thought about it before, and it's, like, the just the have, having that face larger and uh, even emoting makes a huge difference in terms of emo uh, emotion and, like, immersion. Mm-hmm. Because then you actually get to see the characters. Yeah. And they um, feel like characters up, because otherwise, these, like, tiny people. Yeah, they're so tiny. You can't really have that uh, emotional weight. I suppose, or investment? Yeah. Go on ahead, Raynor. 
I will file the charges. Apologies, Captain, but that will have to wait. The Immortals have convened a council se session. By their order, all Arbiter Captains must be in the city must attend. Surely it can wait until I've formally submitted the charges. I want this done properly. I'm sorry, Captain, but it cannot. This morning's edict was quite clear. This meeting is of the highest importance, and all captains must appear without delay. But don't worry about the prisoner. He won't be going anywhere anytime soon. All right. Thank you, Guardsman. Come on, Rainer. Oh, look at that. Is that a beetle dude? Yeah. <gasps> I, I and that's like a was that a moth guy or something else or another beetle man that yeah. was one of the immortals? Yeah, they're like weird beetle moth people. I I really like insectoid Septimus. Hello. I understand you've got some kind of announcement, Primus. Let's get on with it if we have to. As everyone knows, while each of the council bears the title of immortal, we are not quite as long lived as that. Every so often in the course of our reign, one of our number is replaced by a younger prodigy. The new immortal retains the title of his predecessor and adopts his colors, but he is nevertheless a new immortal altogether. Yeah, I know so they had different colored banners mm -hmm. outside. Is this going somewhere? Septimus. Yes, yes, I know. No, but important, nay, critical, immortal business, bus, immortal business awaits me. Nothing less would tempt me away from this congress, I swear. Naturally. As I was saying, there comes a time for every immortal to surrender his mantle and step down. And now that time has come for me. <gasps> oh. But he's the Primus. Well, that certainly is going to liven things up a bit. Hmm. Wait. What were the other one's names? Because it's Primus, Septimus, Quarta? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, and that's what I was thinking. Yep. It's probably a bug dude or is it a bug i'll let lady? you handle it because i'm gonna destroy myself hmm how to sound like a bug a bug person i mean i've done it before with the bee girl <laughs> but this is a little bit different meaning i will have the opportunity to directly observe an immortal relinquishing his power how absolutely fascinating are you quite committed to this decision, Primus? As everyone knows, I'm the oldest remaining immortal, alongside Quintus. I was present on the day we brought down the ancient beast, and I personally scribed the founding tenets of the Immortal Council. What I'm getting at is this. It has been a very long journey. Rewarding, yes, but also tiring. And the time has come for me to step down. Our trusted Arbiter Captains are no doubt eager to hear what follows. Quintus, would you kindly do the honors? Me? Yes, of course, Primus. As this situation only occurs about once a century, it'll be a mystery to most of you. When an immortal's time has come, a replacement is selected through a method called the Marked Pilgrimage. Every immortal marks a candidate of their choosing. The details of the pilgrimage are explained to the marked, but as they are of no import to you, I shall waste no time on that. What should be of great interest to the Arbiters, however, is that each marked is an immortal candidate and as such is bound by no laws for the duration of their pilgrimage. Oh, that's bad. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah, are you going to get someone with vile intentions? Or trying to abuse maybe their power? Maybe that, that dude that we just arrested? Uh, why would he be 
elected by one of the immortals. It doesn't make sense. I don't know. I mean, it you're seems already like a basic suspecting dude. Septimus. <laughs> well, I mean, it'd be great if Septimus is actually like the best guy on the council, and this lady is evil. Yeah. And these two are actually secretly evil. Everyone's evil except for Septimus, <laughs> the clearly evil-looking dude. Yep. You may render assistance unto them if it is required, but you must but must not otherwise interfere with their business. I believe that is everything. Are we done with surprise announcements for today then, Primus? Excellent. Captains, you are dismissed. Primus is as old as the council itself. It will be strange to see another assuming his title. A little like lizard turtle man. Yeah, I know. They have some interesting creatures. I hope we in get to recruit world. some of them. Yeah. Because I'm going to be real disappointed if we can't. Mm hmm. Maybe other important characters as opposed yeah, to just wolf man. <laughs> I suppose the day must come for each of them, and he, is ha he has been at it the longest. Oh, he does seem surprisingly fit, especially in contrast to Quintus. Oh well, there'll be plenty else to worry about soon enough. From what I've heard about the Marked Pilgrimage, Chaos follows closely on its heels. Wait, what's this? <gasps> Decided to take the air, did you, Alphonse? Yeah, how did he get out? Because I don't think it'll agree with you. Oh, he's been marked. Yep. Well, well, the nosy wench and her hired gorilla. Come to see me off. We're here to see you return to your cell and promptly. I can't believe it. One of the immortals has chosen you to be a marked? You are much sharper than you look. I'll grant you that. But indeed, only the absolute finest are selected as candidates for the exalted rank of a mortal. That's only a nat only natural. My name would end up at the top of that list. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must hasten on my pilgrimage to Sentina, and thereafter my imminent ascension to godhood. Ew. We're just going to let him go. You heard the council's judgment. He is above the law now. Untouchable. No, I can't believe that he. Him? Was made a marked by the council. I need some time to think on this. Spread the word. We leave tomorrow at first light for Sentina. I have a feeling trouble is going to find us on the way. Huh. I'm surprised that the party was chosen to be marked. I'm kind of okay with that, maybe. No, no, no. I, I understand, because then it means that you're the supporting cast in potentially a much yeah. grander scale. Because too often you focus on the chosen one or the hero and... I suppose we're side players in that, mm -hmm. in a way. We should visit the store before we depart for Sentina. We could certainly use an upgrade to some of our equipment. Okay, so shopping. Let's get you outfitted. Okay, so we have a plow. A scythe. Maul. A Short maul. sword, dagger, axe, spear, mace. Florette, rod, wood staff, flintlock, short bow, crossbow, armor. Surely we hats. should make Blade Wolf the edgiest and give him a scythe. If he can use it, but yes. Aww. So, because we're trying to make the most. Wouldn't you essentially call him a, a like a? I don't, don't want to say a bad OC. Oh but no, a he is cyborg. absolutely. Oh look at him there. He's even like. I mean, I know he's injured, but he looks like he's like yes, master. Okay. So, these are the only weapons he can use. He can only use axes, short axes, swords. Axes, short swords, mauls. 
we need to find out what he can how he can attain a scythe as a weapon. What class does he have to multi-class into for that? Uh, yes, absolutely. Okay, wait, how many things can I... Okay. How expensive are these? Oh, not very. Oh, I see. So the fur cap gives water resistance. Eh. Now, here's the question. Better that he uses a hammer or a sword and shield? Hmm. I don't know. I mean, axe, I suppose, for ferocity, sword and shield, if you want to have some defense. He needs it, that's for sure. Yeah, I think I'll get him the shield. Anything else we can get? Just the accessories. Nah. Okay, so, question is... It's funny how we're instantly upgrading him as opposed to our main protagonists. Ah, uh, Blade Wolf. So, the axe... Well, okay, so the axe increases his attack and reduces his defense. Yeah. that That's good. Okay. So, next up... She's already got an axe buckler. She's actually kitted out in the best she's got. He's got a hidden dagger. Oh! We did get a crossbow. That might not ah. be a bad idea, actually. Oh. Make him ranged? Yeah, except for I thought we had something better. I'll check that in a second. Uh, let's see. She's got the maul. And old armor, which I think is going to be better. Yeah. I mean, it's her family heirloom. Okay. I'm trying to tell if the circlet improves anything else. Nope, seems like the fur cap is better. I guess the real answer is just... Blade Wolf is the least equipped person here anyway. Uh, let's see. Oh. How do I go back? Okay, confirm purchases. Let's see, troops menu. So if we go to him, equipment. Let's see. Oh, unless you have special abilities like dual wield, sturdy grip, uh, you can only equip one and one. Okay. What's up? What's up with the emotes? I don't know. So we also have a dagger. Dagger is worse than the hidden knife. Okay, I was just worried that the stream had gone down or something. Nope. Okay. Let's see, but That's we good. do have a heavy crossbow. Reduces his speed and his evasion. But that should be good. Yeah, so I'm just going to use him as a ranged character. Just because we've already got three-ish frontliners. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. And... So, who is... Okay, so there are... Oh, that's the entire class list down there, by the way. Oh, so, yeah, the the scythe is only attainable by classes that we've never encountered. Yes. Okay, uh, you know what? I'm gonna go back to the shop for a second. Okay. Okay, try and buy. I'm gonna... For her... We're gonna get her the... Shining Band, I think. Ooh, that's an expensive buy. Yeah, worth it. Maybe, I don't know. I a lot of enemies are gonna be doing blind early on. It's one of the most mm -hmm. basic abilities we have. So to Timber Road, and we are fighting things. And we should probably stop after this battle just because my voice is dying. More and brigands, no. Yep. Looks like my hunch was right on the mark. Trouble just found us. Well, like we went looking for it. Hmm. <laughs> when I go looking for trouble, it'll be well. Something more dangerous than this lot, anyway. Huh. Fair point. Boss, these here travelers are an exact match for the description we got from the posh lord. Yes, I can see that. Now shut your fly trap. I'll do the talking. You there, officer. Are you Kyrie of the Ar Arbiters? Isn't it funny? Because we faced another Manuel earlier. They're all Manuel. They're from the a long and illustrious, par uh, like, wide line of Manuels, where just like, <laughs> Mama Manuel gives birth to about 30 Manuels. They all die, and somehow, like, 
then more of them just spawn from the ether. They all name their sons Manuel. Yeah, and their daughters Manuel. It's a really sad family situation. <laughs> Reunions are terrifying. It's mostly just funerals. <laughs> they, they only meet up when one of them dies, which pretty much they never leave the mortuary. Fun fact, all aged Manuels uh, go off to work at the mortuary afterwards. <laughs> For goodness sake. Or in the daycare business. There's a lot of Manuels to take care of. Anyway. I am. Do we have business? Unless it is urgent, I suggest you head to the nearest Arbiter's Chapter House and take your problems up with them. It'll end better that way, I promise. Oh no, I'm afraid that will not do. But you see, you're just the person we've been waiting for. Wait, I believe I know the rest. Alphonse wishes the wench to be dealt with permanently. Or something to that effect? And you underlings better not bungle this. Or else? Sound about right? But I... How did... Uh, boss, the Lord Guy did warn you that they were a wily lot. Nah, I'm not sure how you knew we were coming for you, but that changes nothing. You both have the numbers and the experience in this dirty business, unlike you ceremonial flunkies running errands for the immortals. You know what to do. Take them down to the last man. I really like this background, except for the bats. The bats look kind of goofy. Oh, the ones under the log? Yeah. Maybe they take flight mid-battle and mm. drop some guano on someone. Wait, oh. people, they're going to climb? What's going on? There's treasure tiles. Treasure tiles. Okay, nope, Anadine, Anadine goes there. Let's see, Lana. Yeah, we don't want Blade Wolf. He has an injury, unfortunately. Okay, I might hire one more uh, person at some point. Later, probably. Map has a treasure chest on it. Mm-hmm. May contain a ver variety of things, including gear, components, gadgets, and badges. To access a chest, one of your units must be positioned right next to it. Use the open action that will appear on the list of commands. Don't worry over much if you're unable to reach the treasure. At the end of combat, it will remain on the map for the next time. Some maps also contain special treasure chests. Yeah, there's that one. These are usually harder to access and might require you to have specific abilities or equipment in order to reach them. They also tend to have better or even unique rewards. Ah, uh, butts. Oh, wait, Ouch. no, never mind. They suck. Le Daniel M. Craig? Huh. Okay, so I wanted to check something. My show, show details. Free navigation? I want to look at this one. I don't know if I can get up to that one, so I'm not even going to bother. You might have someone, yeah, capable of climbing. Okay, chivalry or warcraft. So we have this reduces regular attacks. Forceful strike might knock him around. Mm-hmm. Field strike, no. Well, actually, why don't we do power strike? Okay. I'm not sure if line of sight is a serious problem that I have to contend with. So Can you shoot from... on a diagonal or no? Can I? No. Aha! What's that ability? Is that the fleet foot? No, this is the uh, blind. Oh, Dirty I hit. see. Yeah, and he's using his bow now. Yep. Okay. She's a little wounded. We also have elementalism that we can roll with. Now, they have at least resistance to water. I really like that you can see the side of the log. 
and the rings inside it. Okay. Because so it's a cross sec a cross section. Oh yeah. No, that that does look really nice. Okay, so we have chivalry. And just roll in here and start smacking. Forceful strike. No, I don't want to do that. We've already done powerful strikes. So I guess let's just hit this guy for a bunch of damage. Never oh, mind. Miss! No! Butts. That's that does, doesn't seem to be hitting any of your units. Yeah. So that's good. I always got to be a little worried about that. Lunk. <laughs> Was it, is his name Lunk? Yeah. That's great. I love Lunk. You named Lunk in our Zelda series. Well, yes, like I Link did. Lunk, right? Yep. Okay, we also have Thunder and Earth. I suppose it would have been... What was it? If you're doing all the vowels, it would be... Lunk, Lank, Lunk, Link, Lank. Lank. Link. Well, Link is the original. Lank. You want to go Y? Lunk and Lunk. I did stack all my guys together, so I guess we were... Oh, she's able to jump. Yep. Ow. Maybe I should have gotten that group heal. Oh well. Look at all those guys stacked up. Ow. So... If there are three immortals that may have been among the oldest, like the originals, because it was Primus, um, what was it, Quintus? That means there had to have been a couple that switched out. Septimus yeah. seems to be new. Er? And the, the Beetle Man, I couldn't say, or Beetle Lady. Ah, yeah, he's gonna be capable of getting that chest. How many hundreds of years ago was it that the Great Maw was defeated? I don't remember. I wasn't paying as much attention as I probably should have been. I thought it was something immense, like 2,000 years. That would have maybe been a bit much. But it would explain the whole, you know, these situations don't occur but once every hundred years. The selection for a new immortal. Maybe it's only been a couple hundred years. So I can undo movement, which is really nice. Oh, that's good. So if I'm not in a good position, I can just say, never mind. Mm-hmm. But she's oh. actually, she's probably better over here. We're probably going to get a weed. Um, maybe if I actually go right here. Can I do that? No. Yeah, well, how is it that you could do the fire and you could get all, what was it, four of them? I think there was a spot that you went to where you could get all four. Yeah, my main thing is I don't want to, well, I guess I'm just going to move it right there. I don't want to give them too much leeway to hit my whole group mm -hmm. uh, with like large AoEs like this. Because obviously, like, that's not great for me. So I guess these two will get smacked around a little bit, but it's worth it. Oh, nice. Because, yeah, now they're uh, pretty injured. Now, I wonder how many times she can do that counterattack per round. Oh! Counterattacking does not change facing now. Oh. So that used to actually be something I could do. I could Where trigger... You could juggle a character to, yeah. to continue turning, and then you could surround the character and have each character have a, an advantage. Yeah, yeah, pretty much, which was really good. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Might I as want well. A whirlwind attack. Ooh, yeah. Well, I wish. I don't have it. Oh, you don't I have would whirlwind like yet? To. I see. I'll just kill that guy before he gets his turn. Aha! 
I probably should have moved now that I think about it. Mm -hmm. Eh, whatever. Oh, never mind. You well, can attack and then move. Attack and then move. A I lot like of that. these games do not actually have, uh, do not let you do stuff like that. We got a sign window fruit. Whatever that means. Fire! Actually, fire! Because that'll hurt them both way more. Mm -hmm. Level up! I might want to change her appearance at some point. Just the fluffy, like, winter garb is weird. Uh, it's fine. I mean... Also, color coding the characters might be fun. True. It'd be nice if I could make her directly an ice mage. That's the thing. Because oh. if I could make her, like, directly an ice mage, then... I'd say that's probably fine. Fire doesn't do as much damage. This guy's going down. I wish with abilities like that, if you weren't attacking multiple opponents, all the, the damage, would be, damage would be concentrated that's on one actually, character. So that's uh, uh, you know those like passive skills you can get? Yeah. Uh, you can actually get things that will increase... Uh, let's see. Do chivalry... Oh, Field Aid actually lets you heal other people, too. That's kind of nice. Whoops. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to that other treasure. It's funny how everyone else is battling for oh. their lives, and Rainer is just like, hmm, loot. Sweet loot bits. Mm. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. He retreated. Warcraft, Field Aid. i got to check if I get EXP for this. Do I? Please tell me I do. Yeah. yeah. Oh. You get XP for healing your allies. That's great. So we're going to stand around for a bit. And just heal? Yeah. And let him hit me. Uh, so this is an old trick from uh, Final Fantasy Tactics. Uh, you effectively stand around and cast support magic on teammates. I want to see if it does nothing. Do you still get the XP? No. Oh. Okay. Uh, but so, you always get extra EXP from allies, because they're generally always the same level as you. Mm -hmm. Or maybe support moves always just had the same thing. I also wanted to see if I could get up there. Probably not, but it was worth checking. Uh, let's see, trickery, we want to do fleet of foot. Oh, he can grant that to other people, that's kind of nice. Maybe even multiple people. But if you notice, he just leveled up by making himself faster. Mm -hmm. So if I do defend... Yeah, yeah, you got XP for defending. Yeah, and I believe EXP 97. If they're following the old formula, when you hit 100 EXP, you level up. Let's see. So I can sit around defending and healing all my party members up. And oh, no. I, I'm not actually going to do Wander, this. this is going to be a rep repetition of growth. Absolutely. It is... I mean, have you seen my big Pikachu? It's <laughs> massive. Uh, let's see, holy magic. Okay, next test. Except in the growth video, you're facing Bammo. a Kuna that could really only harden. Yep. <laughs> Wait, did I sh did hit you my? Da you damaged your own units. I hit my own party. Just so that you could heal everyone. I'm mostly killing uh, time to see if I can get him up to the special uh event. Well yeah. I don't see one inside like in the whole turn order thing, I haven't seen one. Nope, I can't get up there. The only one that I can potentially foresee is No no a there's giant no special event. There's a treasure up in the top corner. Oh, I see. Like a giant forest creature trundling through the wood. Or those bats. Getting startled and then depositing yep. guano all so over she your just faces. Levels up. Yep, I was correct. So whenever you hit 100 EXP, you go up to full health, um, or not full health. When you hit 100 EXP, you level up. And so yeah, if I wanted to, I could actually just sit around 
scumming this literally forever because this guy's never going to be able to uh this guy's never going to be able to kill my whole party i'm not going to do that because that would be cheese balls and well fun uh we got places to go beds to sleep in namely beds to sleep in <laughs> but yeah i might do some random grinding beforehand just because uh before next time oh that's nice they have the touch of him coming down through the trees. That was nice. I don't know if maybe that was always what he did. Probably. I think it's kind of implied that you take him because he's got fleet of foot and yeah. he's also the scoundrel. Anyway. Nice work, Anadine. Thank you, Captain. My training is proving its worth, just as you said it would. I confess, I'm impressed at the progress you've made in very short time. But once again... Please address me by name. I prefer that we relax protocol while in the field. Uh, yes, of course, uh, Kyrie. Ready to report my findings, Madame Captain. I await your convenience. Is it Kyrie or is it Kiri? I think Kyrie, Kyrie sounds better. Kyrie works better. Rainer, you're insufferable. Alas, I'm a man of many flaws, Madame Captain. Ah, uh, very well. Report? We eliminated that group entirely. The roads are safe for the time being. Safer, at least. However, it's just as you surmised. The bandits seem to have been in the employ of our favorite nobleman, Alphonse. I recovered a fat purse from the leader, fashioned from purple velvet and embroidered with lace. Does anyone doubt where this came from? <laughs> that is interesting, but also pure conjecture. You have something in the way of hard evidence, I assume? Ah, oh, you know me so well. I figured that a little lordling wouldn't have enough gold on his person to pay for a major assassination, so I searched the bandit leader thoroughly, and lo and behold, Tucked away in his boot was a promissory note from a much for a much larger sum. Said note was signed by Alphonse himself. Quite a gamble for him to take. He must truly hate us. Excellent work, Rainer. Coupled with the thugs confirming that they were in Alphonse's employ, this should be ample evidence against him. But But Kyrie, like Unless you're amassing this and expect him to fail in his venture to become an immortal. I mean, more or less the moment he fails, uh... She's just gonna have a whole laundry list of charges. I'm just imagining the end of this game. You finally bring him in after chasing him all over the world for one crime or another. And then you finally bring him back to the courthouse, roll out a very, 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 very long scroll with just all his transactions, uh, transgressions on it. Could you imagine that? It would be funny. It would. All right, you two take a breather. I'll ready everyone for our departure for the temple near Casentina. Uh, Rainer? I'm not sure I follow that whole exchange. It's hard to tell by looking at her, because she keeps her emotions so carefully in check, but Kyrie is actually very angry and concerned the fact that Alphonse murdered a man right in front of you two, and appears to have been cleared by the council, uh, calls a lot of what we believe into question. But Alphonse is a marked now, and all the marked are above the law by explicit council order. There's nothing we can do. That was my th first thought too, but... Kyrie knows the law, letter by letter. There's a provision related to the Arbiter's right of self-defense, which supersedes all other laws, even those pertaining to the marked. By sending those ruffians after us, Alphonse has given us legal grounds to bring him to justice, regardless of his marked status. Ah, the captain is so wise. So, that is the reason we've been heading towards Sentina this whole time? Knowing the Lord was going that way himself, Kyrie is seeking retribution. 
We may have been tasked with enforcing the law, but in the end, justice is what Kyrie seeks above all else. There's no way the woman I know would ever let this go. All right, we've had our break. Let's rejoin the group. Uh, let's see. So yeah, what difficulty are we? Wow, that's a lot. Uh, what difficulty are we on? We're on beginner. I'm probably. Let's actually go into that now in the options. Can I? Is it gameplay? Can we save first? Yes. Ooh, walk speed. I'm gonna set that up a little bit. Speed sound. No, running background. Yes. No telemetry. Mm. Eh. Why not? I'm gonna speed some of these things up a little bit. Keep page. Mm. Oh, yes. And I don't care about these. I'll probably set up controls for next time. Uh, let's see. So, yes, we should probably save. So, I think that's my old save file. Oh, interesting. Not that it matters. Okay, so if I go... Maybe it's under troop thing. Oh, so if we can earn a new ability there. Uh, that's what we do. Okay, so I'm going to bump us up to Veteran, but I'm going to reduce the enemy stat scaling a little bit. Mm -hmm. So that way they have gear, use passives, counter, use revive items, whatever. But they're just slightly easier, so I don't have to try as hard. Uh, because I'm a lazy sod right now. And if it gets too easy, then I'll turn it up. I mean, honestly, I think it might just end up being too easy anyway, because I'm going to overlevel like crazy. So, Flash Strike... Bypasses all counter abilities or cannot miss. Uh, let's do Flash Strike, probably. So this is the one I want to grab. Hold a melee two-handed weapon in one hand and equip mm -hmm. a shield. Uh, so you'll be able to do a ton more damage. I believe you can mix and match this and dual wield, so you have two two-handed weapons in each hand. <laughs> now, obviously, there are actual reasons why you don't want to do that, but... Uh, If, if it works the way I think it works, it will be hilarious. So, ooh, chance to bleed. Or steal a component. I'm going to do steal component for the time being. You're, you like the idea of crafting? Yeah, well, yeah, because that means more use, usable items and several other things. Okay, wizard. Smart casting. Offensive multi-target abilities will not include allies as possible targets and help... Helpful multi-target abilities will not include enemies as possible targets. Oh. That's really good. That means Otherwise, you won't be able to damage your own units. <laughs> damage. Yeah, let's do smart casting. I tend to get things dense, and that's nice. Mender. So what's she got? Mass heal or revive? Let's do mass heal. Plague Doctor has been unlocked. Ooh, yay. Okay. My class has been unlocked. So she's a little bit behind the times. And it, we are getting mercenary. Not that it's really that helpful on a lot of these characters. But yeah, I really like this system. It's really, really solid. I honestly like, I love the, the fact that you gain extra... Uh, let's see. We don't care about these. Uh, let's see. He doesn't have anything yet. I don't know. I just love these, like, little mechanics. This is effectively a game from my childhood. Uh, but with a lot of really smart changes to make it so much better. Like, if this had come out when I was a kid, and I had to choose between this and Final Fantasy Tactics, I'm pretty sure I would have jumped for this one instead. Which, for me, is really nice. I don't know. I, I'm just to finally... You know, get the chance to play this because for a little while I was actually really tempted to just play this without uh, streaming it, just so I could get the experience. Instead, what I think I'm going to do is overgrind to the point where everything is silly, and we'll just have stupid amounts of AP to spend on stuff. Yeah, because we've unfortunately in the past suffered from a number of series stalling because we want to see what the story will progress into being, like, and usually in the final chapters too. So, but for Lost Sphere and Octopath and there's so many number games. of other series, I... we sort of petered out because we realized that there would be a lot of grinding ahead. Anytime a game's on PC, it actually makes grinding so much easier on me. 
-hmm. because it can turn on times 50 speed and just like blitz through every combat oh, animation and whatever. Right, you it's, and your hacks. I mean, you groan, but that's, it makes my life so much easier. 